You have rich Chipotle alone in your house in a bra? I have. Which brings me to my new story time about Pringles. Okay, figured I should put some clothes on, but I'm gonna keep the crown on because who doesn't wanna wear a crown in their own house? Well, I have been posted on YouTube in months and I figured the easiest way to get me back onto it is to record something that I can easily edit. I came up with this genius idea. Haley's story time. It doesn't rhyme, but that's what I'm gonna call it. I thought I would just recount funny old stories from my childhood or like cool celebrity stories. Um, sar, sar, sar. I'm trying to talk Australian, is it working? Sar, so today's video, back when I was a third grader, let me flash some pics across the street if I'm technologically, technologically advanced enough to do that. Here are some pictures of me in my younger years. I went to my fifth grade first day of school wearing camo cut off shorts to my knees with a camo shirt with a star on it, thinking that if I dressed like a boy, the boys might like me and think I was cool. So that was my mentality. <laughs> so there was this group of popular boys. Of course I wanted to be friends with the popular boys and I gravitated towards them. And of course they, you know, weren't very nice to me. I want to say their names. <clears throat> they had typical names like, you know, Brad, but it wasn't Brad because it was third grade, so it wasn't Brad, but you know, let's call them like Brad and jo Joe. Joe's not really mean. Brad. Guys, what's another like popular boy name? Mikus? Brad and Brad and Chad and Joey, just so there's a third person. And of course, these boys, uh, you know, like to slide into my Facebook messages nowadays and check in on me. <sighs> I don't respond. I was in typing class. Class. Now that I think back to this, it's really weird, but to cover up the keyboard because you're learning how to type, they would put shorts over the keyboard and your hands would go in the shorts legs to type. A little weird. Typing class. And lucky Haley probably got butterflies in her tummy because she got placed next to Chad, the popular boy. This was my chance to be his friend, yes. You know, maybe it's the first day, third day, I don't know when the day was, but somehow little Haley let the word damn slip out of her mouth. I said, I said, damn. God, what was I thinking? So this boy heard me say damn next to me. I'm gonna tell on you that you said a bad word. I was so afraid of getting in trouble because I was a good kid and I probably welled up with tears right there and freak, freaked out. Chad, Chad, no, no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No, I didn't mean to, it just came out. What do I do, what, what, I'll do anything. Well, uh, <laughs> somehow, I don't know if I suggested it or if he suggested it, we came to an agreement that I would bring him Pringles, sour cream and onion to be exact, every day to keep him quiet. My first bribe was in third grade, or er, blackmail. Freaking blackmail, little girl, evil. I'm just gonna take this off because I don't wanna look so stupid. And so for, I think like a week, or something. I I brought him Pringles every day. <laughs> I specifically we weren't like a you know how you're like a Cheetos family or a Pringles family. We were a puffy Cheetos family. We always for like pizza night we would buy Cheetos, so we never had Pringles in the house. My mom suddenly was confused as to why I kept asking for sour cream and onion little canister canisters. I was very specific. Can I have sour cream and onion little canisters, Mom? I really want the Pringles. And she kept buying me these canisters, and I didn't like them, so I just kept bringing them to school and giving them to freaking Chad. Freaking Chad. He kept him quiet. He never told the teacher I said damn until one day I couldn't bring the sour cream and onion Pringles to school. I walked into the school with a horrible gut feeling like, oh my God, I don't have the Pringles for Chad. Oh my God. And of course, of course, after like two weeks of bringing him Pringles and being so sweet, I didn't bring them one day and he says, Mrs. Burkhart's Meister, Haley said a bad word in class. And this is when it gets foggy and I might be imagining this, but I'm pretty sure that she had me sit down and talk to me about bad words. And I am almost pretty positive also that my mom got an email about my bad behavior of saying a bad word. I'm just like flabbergasted if that's really what happened. I don't think I'm making it up. I remember getting like punished and like my parents finding out that I said the word. I wonder if I would punish my kids for saying that. I wouldn't like it. Anyway, Chad, if you're out there watching this, I hope you're doing well. Definitely haven't looked you up. I probably sound as you kids say salty right now, but it's just funny how kids act when they're younger and then what happens when they grow up. If you guys liked Haley's story time, this might not have been the most exciting story, but it was just on my heart to share the Pringle story. Comment below if you like stories and whatever, or if it's just boring to watch someone talk to a camera, cause I don't know if I would watch this. But if you did like it, tell me and I'll sing you a song.
follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Would love to catch up with you. I always respond to DMs and all that, so send me one. I got Australian again. That wasn't even on purpose. And I'm gonna put this crown back on, eat some more Chipotle, watch some TV, and die alone and choking on a chicken wing. Bye.